Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lambton College in Sarnia, Ontario for this afternoon's matchup with your nationally ranked number eight Lambton College Lions. For only the second time in program history, we'll be hosting a playoff game against the visiting Georgian Grizzlies. Both teams come in riding hot streaks as the Lions, winners of five straight, to clinch home court in the playoffs, including a win against nationally ranked Mohawk, will be facing off opposite of the Grizzlies, winners of three straight to get in against Seneca, Centennial, and Canador, as well as five of their last six and nine of their last 12 to get into playoff position here, fifth in the East. With me is always my broadcast partner, Dave Walls. Dave, what are your uh, key points in terms of the Lions coming out with a winning effort off a of Mike Lucier basket? Well, I think it's just going to be defense. Uh, they haven't played a team that had two big men as tall and wide as Georgian has in Zawarik. And we just seen a great move early on by Jones. But Lucier came back and responded with a quick bucket there. So I think Lucier has got to stay out of foul trouble for them to have any shot. Two teams with very contrasting styles in terms of offensive and defensive play. The Lions a very fast-paced, up-tempo team. Roll three or four guards at a time. Jason Marshall with the strip and the finger roll as Jason Marshall gets going early. Lions lead 4-2, 9-16 left here in the first quarter. Jordan will carry the ball past the timeline. Mego working the right side. Ball swings around. That's Mitchell in the corner. Back iron and out. Padgett can't collect. But here's Marshall with the push. 
Tony Smith up the left side of the court. Ball deflected and it'll stay Lions ball. Lampton College in their home white uniforms. Sean Hill, right corner three, in and out, but Lucier collects the offensive board, unable to get it to go, and there's Marshall with the offensive rebound as well. Lions hitting the glass hard early. Might have a little bit of a matchup problem there, and number 20 we don't have, I don't think is. Corrections at number 10 there. Mego. Anthony Mego. Might have a bit of a chance there for Jason Marshall maybe to post up him later in the game. I think they've noticed already that uh, Marshall's a little bit bigger and stronger. And we'll already see uh, the Georgian coach here move to his bench early as Wesley Jones, the big front court player for the Grizzlies, has already checked out of the ball game. Drive in, mid-range jump shot, 10 footer long, and there's Brandon Padgett. Moves the ball across the timeline, does Jason Marshall. Georgian in a bit of a zone here. Smith finds himself open for three, and Tony Smith knocks it down. And this Lions offense is clicking early. Well, I think Georgian's watched and probably realized out of the five players, Tony Smith shoots the least amount of threes, but he's one for one, so that's a good sign. These two teams, where there's Tex Warich, air balls it. Good defense there by Mike Lucier staying up straight, as you alluded to earlier, Dave. Last thing the Lions want to see is Mike Lucier in foul trouble. Tony Smith on the drive, body control, can't get the kind roll. Kicks in, that's Mitchell. Good shot defense by Mike Lucier protecting the rim. Marshall finds Hill, jab step. He's gonna drive the lane hard off the glass. No offensive or defensive goaltending there. As it appears that Mitchell might have touched the backboard as the ball was above the cylinder. Nice quick tuck patch there, getting into Madimba, who came off the bench. Madimba, a bit of a six man for the Georgian Grizzlies, one of their higher players in terms of points per game, in terms of average throughout the years. Brandon Padgett does what he does best, Coach, absorbs contact and Coach, lays it up. Coach looking for a double dribble there, but the rest might have thought that there was contact and the ball was touched and then placed back. Shot taken there by Connor Laurent. Wide and out, foul call there. First foul of the game goes to Sean Hill. But I think the Lions are gonna have to have a lot of fouls today to compete with these guys. They're gonna have to really work hard. These two teams of court met, of course, sorry, met uh, last year in the OCAA tournament. 82-71 victory for the Lions. And we saw both Tech Zwarich, the uh, primetime player for the Grizzlies, as well as Mike Luce, of course, the captain for the Lions, both with over 30 points. Up top there was Medimba missed on the layup, but Tex Warich there able to clean up the garbage. And he continues to do what he's done all season, and that score points and rebound the basketball. Marshall open, fakes the kick to Sean Hill, takes the three himself, and Jason Marshall, it's Marshall Law so far in the first quarter for the Lions. Yeah, Jason, nice little pump move there and gets his feet set. Ball's deflected, Smith collects, kicks to Marshall on the break. He's got an opportunity. Oh, and just mishandled the ball on the way up there. Bad bounce, but the Lions will get it right back. Well, maybe a little bit of nerves there for Marshall. Maybe he was thinking dunk and trying to overtake Russ Fox and uh, get one up on him, but uh, everyone's gonna make mistakes. They got a full gym here tonight. It's just rocking. Home court advantage has gone the way of the Lions all season. Only one loss in the den so far this year as Marshall squares up from beyond the arc. Unable to get that to go. And the only defeat for the Lions, Dave, this season on home floor came against the nationally ranked number one team in Sheridan College. So not too many teams in the country, let alone the province, are able to handle this home atmosphere for the Lions. Yeah, they definitely play well at home, but it definitely helps when you have this many people in the gym. Ball's deflected, Lions possession. Good start though by the Lions. I mean, both teams look like a little nervous, but always great to not come out flat. And Lucier from beyond the arc, 
couple bounces up there, but can't get it to go. 12-8, or 5-15 left here, first quarter. Mitchell, interior pass to Zwaric, working on Paget. That's deflected by Mike Lucier. Smith's gonna cross over on Zwaric. He'll drive the lane, kick to Marshall, who finds Hill in the corner. Back iron and out. And Laurent there collects for the Grizzlies, decides better to slow it down. And that's where we see the contrast in style of play as the Lions really like to collect on the defense and push hard offensively, whereas this Georgian team is really into set pieces. There's Laurent. Shoots for three, can't collect. He's been cold so far. Sean Hill slows things down, decides for better opportunity. Coach Grant barking out some instructions from the sideline for the Lions. Got to get the ball inside a little bit to try to open up some more set three-point shots. Nice shot there by Lucier. Mike Lucier with a nice 15-foot jump shot there from the baseline. Laurent, he's going to kick. That's Kenrick Lewis now, drives on Paget. He gets a hand on the ball. Tech Zwaric in, and Zwaric on his way back down the floor calling for a foul. Yeah, it looked like he might have been fouled there too. Lions look to set up the half court. Paget to the inside. Marshall's going to shoot over Kenrick. And Jason Marshall turn the lights out, ladies and gentlemen. The kid is hot. In the corner. That's Kenrick Lewis up over top of Lucier. And he cuts the lead back to five for the Lions. Marshall turns over half. Finds Paget. He's going to pull up for three. And the long bomb is working. Brandon Paget. Hello and welcome to the ball game number four. And Brandon, uh, unfortunately, hamstring injury this uh, week in practice. So looks a little tentative out there. So unfortunately, it takes away a bit of the play from the Lions. Lewis stripped by Paget. Paget almost collected the ball after he stripped Kenrick Lewis who then threw the ball off the pageant. Got two hands on it but unable to corral the ball as it fell out of bounds as well. We'll go into our first time out of the ball game. Lions lead 2012, 251 remaining in the first quarter. Welcome back for this up and down game between the Lambton College Lions and the Georgian Grizzlies. 2012 lead for the Lions, 2.51 left. Jason Marshall leading the way so far. Eight points, a couple shots from beyond the arc, and perhaps a few easy points left on the board by the Lions so far, Dave. Yeah, but they're also against some pretty big defenders out there, so nerves, a little bit of nerves. Seven on the shot clock here. Zwarich collects at the elbow, comes in, tries to go up over top of Lucier, collects his own miss, and he's hacked by Tony Smith inside. He'll have an opportunity to shoot two from the line. And William Lara casted in for his first time in a playoff game. We'll see Tex Ward shoot from the line here. It was one of my conversations this week with Coach Grant leading up to the game. I asked if perhaps it might be a strategy, the, the old hack-a-shack that they might choose to use if Tex Ward gets in good position down on the block. But Grant, uh, Coach Grant was very complimentative of uh, Tex Warich and his free throw shooting capabilities. Uh, overall, 68% shooter from the line on the season, and he knocks down two there. Marshall's going to pump fake. Luce outside. He's open for three, back iron and out. Lara Kasten battles for a board, can't get it. And here's Laurent now, comes up. Marshall on Lewis. Lewis going to spin into traffic. Kicks back out. Medima. Pass is deflected by Jason Marshall, and we'll have 13 on the shot clock as Brandon Paget will check in for the Lions. Rotating the guards through this afternoon is James Grant, and something he wasn't able to do two or three years ago. Now he's a lot deeper on his bench, especially at the guard position. There's Mitchell now, pulls up for three. That's long and out. No chance had that shot. Brandon Paget with the power dribble. 
as the Lions will look to set up the half court. And this will be where the Lions make their their money this afternoon. If this ball game is going to go in the favor of the Lions, they're going to have to get something in the half court against these tough, athletic Georgian defenders as Mike Lucier spins, lays up, misses, but gets the foul call. Yeah, good athletic move there by Mike Lucier. Defender playing pretty well, but just caught him just late. We'll see another member of the Georgian squad check into the ball game. That's number 24, Abed Amran native of Brampton, Ontario, much like myself here, Dave. We're all over. <laughs> Lucy, good on the first. <laughs> and the second, 22-14. Less than two to go here in the first quarter. Here's Lewis. Lewis will pump fake, drive into the middle. He'll kick up and under move there by Madiba. Lucy will collect. Oh, and he's going to the ground as Tex Warich goes up over top of Tony Smith. And if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be Tony Smith's second here in the first quarter. So we'll look to see if Coach Grant chooses to make a substitution. And it looks like he will as Jason Marshall will check back in. Unfortunate there, Lucier comes out, not sure if he was tripped or just slipped, but looking for the foul call there and then reverses the other way. So sometimes just a little bit of ball luck can go again in or against you, and fortunately went against the Lions there. And perhaps uh, maybe a hold is what I was looking for as a, as a call there. Mike kind of got loose, tried to put the ball in front of him and take his first step to dribble, and his, uh, his legs seem to be moving a little bit faster than his hands. Offensive rebound by Madiba. Sean Hill finally able to collect for the Lions. Lucie open up top. Lions five on the outside. And an out of bounds call on Will Eric Aston. Coach probably wanted him to shoot the ball there. That was the third swing. It looked like he was open there. Lions on the season in the first quarter averaging 22 and a half points a game. So right on pace for that. Here is, we're at 22 already. Drive and kick. Mike Luce picks up. Ball's deflected, but Brandon Padgett gets on his horse. Kicks to Sean Hill, open in the corner, sets his feet. Back iron and out. And Brandon just doesn't look right. You can tell coming back. And Here's Lewis. Working on Luce. Corner, that's a bed Emran. Three point shooter. Luce collects another rebound as he's been all over the glass today. Lucier. Now Hill collects off the deflection from Zwarich. Seven on the shot clock. Marshall's gonna, Marshall's gonna jab step and drive and that's a great call by the official there as the defender Mitchell fell for the jab step by Jason Marshall going left and as he tried to go right, it was pure body contact. That'll give the Lions a fresh 14 and an opportunity to perhaps set up a quick offensive possession. Not many fouls, as you said. Three against Lampton, two against the, the Grizzlies. Pat is going to drive, get stopped. He's going to throw up the three. Six on the clock. Now a full 20 or 14 back. Sean Hill's going to drive easy scoop, and he can't get that to go either. So the Lions have gone cold here in the back half of the first quarter. And Padgett, again, just unlucky with the steals as he can't seem to corral the ball after he deflects it out of a Jordan Grizzlies hand. Not sure if they got a full set there of the shot clock or not. If they did, probably should have waited for the last shot there. So sometimes you just have to have a little bit of patience. We'll see Frank Benet and Jason Heron check into the game, replacing Jason Marshall and Sean Hill. Five seconds remain in the opening quarter. Or sorry, that was Will Eric Kasten and Sean Hill. Benay will collect, and that'll be the final play of the first quarter. Lampton College Lions 22, Georgian Grizzlies 14, OCAA championship berth on the line. Join us for the second quarter. Back for the second quarter here, Lampton College Lions lead 22-14. 
Lions started off hot. Jason Marshall, eight points in the first four, five, five minutes of the first quarter there. And the Lions offense, as did Jason Marshall, cooled down significantly in the second half of the first quarter. So we'll look to see if the Lions are able to right the ship here moving into the second. Heron to inbound to Marshall. Marshall, interior pass to Frank Benet. Kicks back to Marshall, uses a Benet screen. Benet with a turnover as Kenrick Lewis steals. And a traveling violation against Kenrick Lewis as he trips over Mike Lucier trying to get to the basket. A lucky break for the Lions there is ill-advised turnover by Frank Benet. And unfortunately at this time of year, that's not something the Lions can afford, especially in a game with as much on the line as they have right now. Yeah, it's tough when you don't play a lot of minutes and you get in there in a crucial time, but Frank is a bit of a veteran too, so pulls out lots of rebounds, just has to watch when he's controlling the ball. Here's Padgett up top. Lucier. Jason Marshall's gonna cross over, drives in, gets a little contact, and still able to make it as Jason Marshall is now into double digits. Amran on the outside. The drive in by Lewis. Body control over Paget. Mike Lucier collects, and that's a foul on Tex Warich. Mike Lucier with a great defensive rebound. Oh my goodness. A foul against Sean Hill. Much to the dismay of the Lampton bench and hundreds of people here in the crowd. It'll be Georgian Ball. It's like a fresh 24 on the clock for the Grizzlies as well. 24-14. Laurent into Zwarich at the elbow. That's a kick out there. That's Mitchell from beyond the arc. Marshall collect and dribble out. Benet back in the ball game here. We'll look to see if he's able to redeem himself after the turnover earlier. Luce seems like they're matching smaller against Mike Luce. Oh, that! A big block there by Tex Warich. Perhaps on the way down was that ball. Yeah, it was pretty close. Interior pass to Mediba. Kick. That's number five, Kenrick Lewis. There's Brandon Padgett now. Lucier wasn't expecting that pass. Ball's deflected. Lewis will come away with it. Double teamed. Able to find Mediba. And there's Laurent in the corner. And that's a three in the Georgian Grizzlies. Starting to get a little bit of momentum in their favor now. Laurent missed probably his first three or four shots, so. Body control there, foul. Brandon Padgett with a great drive. And we'll see the big man, Wesley Jones, check back into the game for the Grizzlies. Only first foul on Laurent, so both teams besides Sean Hill with one or less. Luce working on Zwarich. Two marquee players for these each program. Lucier no good on the turnaround jump shot. And here's Justin Mitchell, now Laurent. Laurent's gonna drive, ball's deflected. But it'll stay George in possession. Zwarich, top of the key, is gonna shoot the three. Back iron and out. Benet collects the board. I think they'll let him shoot that all day. Luce pump fakes. Going to drive right. Kicks to Marshall. Wide open for three. Knocks it down. Jason Marshall is dead eye right now. No. 
long three, long rebound as well. Marshall collect. Tony Smith, head fake, gonna drive, recollects. There's Frank Benet, finds Lucier on the cut. Lucier spins, fadeaway jump shot, front iron and out. Benet deflects, but Lewis will collect. And here's the Grizzlies with Laurent. Cuts into the middle and he's rejected by Mike Lucy as Marshall's on the break. Finger roll, Jason Marshall. And a timeout, Grizzlies, as the Lions spread the lead back to 29-17. 6.09 left here in the second quarter. See you after the break. Six oh eight left in the second quarter of this OCAA qualifying game for the Ontario Championship Tournament. Dave, fantastic first quarter and almost a half so far for the Lions as well as the Grizzlies. Entertaining basketball end to end. I don't know how much more you can ask for in a playoff matchup. What have you seen so far that's allowed the Lions to break out to a 12 point lead so far? Well, I've seen Jason Marshall step up and I think it's got to the point where they realize it's gonna be hard to get the ball inside and Jason Marshall can shoot the ball and he's doing it this afternoon. Probably got near his uh, average already. He's probably got 13 to 15 points already with six minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, Marshall's shooting lights out from beyond the arc. I believe he's got three threes already. A 40% shooter from beyond the arc when he's able to set his feet. One of the premier shooters in the OCAA and Georgians just had a tough time trying to find him defensively. Pad to inbound, there's Marshall, open. Mitchell crossed over by Marshall, spins the lane, and Wesley Jones gets a nice block there on Jason Marshall, who was calling for a goaltend. Tex Warich over the back for sure. That is a, a fantastic call by the referee, Chad Pereira, as Mike Lucier had the ball, had the rim boxed out, and Tex Warich went right over top of him. We'll see Tony Smith now take a little bit of a breather as Will Lara Caston back in the game. The bench providing some very effective minutes for the Lions here down the stretch. The, the addition of Will Lara Caston as well as the re-addition of Jason Sneaky Heron into the Lions lineup has added an extra kick and, and a little bit of punch for uh, James Grant and his bench. Twenty-nine seventeen, five twenty-one left now. Justin Mitchell gonna drive the lane, kick to the corner to Mago for three. He knocks that down, and that'll bring the game back to single digits. Lucier, and that's a push on Justin Mitchell. Great play there by Jason Marshall to almost draw his man into having to commit that foul against Mike Lucier as you see Justin Mitchell providing a little bit of extra attention to number three beyond the arc. Marshall got him turned around and Mitchell didn't even realize that he was running into the back of Mike Lucier. Fourteen on the shot clock for the Lions as Marshall works. Padgett's gonna shoot the three front iron and out. LaRon now sets up a half-court play for the Grizzlies. Uses a Wesley Jones screen. Now Jones is gonna try to work. Marshall's defle deflects the pass. Marshall's now out on the break. He's gonna power dribble and lay in. And Jason Marshall has just been unbelievable on both ends of the floor so far. And getting out on the fast break, the Grizzlies just don't have an answer for him. Ball stripped again, here's Marshall. Dribbles up, Lara Kasten collects, throws off a of Mego, and a great play there by Will Lara Kasten. Throwing it off his foot, yep. Great play there, will be white ball. Savvy veteran move by the first year player as the referees will convene. And I don't know what there is to convene about, it's clearly Lions ball. Well, it's nice when they come together and get it right. 
Timeout Lions, 31-20. Ball in the front court, 4-14 remaining in the first half. Thirty-one twenty left here in the second quarter. Or sorry, thirty-one twenty Lions lead, four fourteen left here in the second quarter. Lions possession in the front court as Sean Hill will look to inbound. Padgett up top, been slowed a little bit by injury, and Georgian defense so far as Lucia goes to work. Ball fakes, lays it up softly. Looks Can't like he might have had a bit of contact there. Ball now into the front court for the Grizzlies. Justin Mitchell gonna kick to Marceline. Now Zwarich working on Lucier. That's a travel. Lucier deflects the rebound to Sean Hill. Padgett now is gonna break the inside. Padgett crosses over, lays up with the right hand. And just didn't have the explosiveness off the right foot there, Dave, as he usually does on the fast break. It's all his hamstring. He's been Getting work on all week, hurted Thursday in practice, so. Justin Mitchell, long board, Will Larrick Kasten does a great job collecting, and he'll look to push on the break, crosses over on Laron. Laron tries to sell a call, but Wild Bill lays one in off the glass. <laughs> Whistle dead by the referee here. Con conference with the coach on the sideline for the Grizzlies. A little bit of momentum out of the crowd here. 311 left in the first half. Marceline tries to throw the alley oop. Mike Lucier says no, no, no. Will Eric Caston. Mike Lucier pulls a deep three and knocks it down. The captain. Oh captain, my captain, Mike Lucier. LaRonde in the corner tries to answer with the three and he does. Back to a 13 point game. Lucier working on Zwarich. Spins and kicks to Padgett. Finds Sean Hill. He's in on the lane. Tech Zwarich with the block and that's a goal 10. And the Lions get one to go their way. As the referees warn the benches waiting for the points to get put up there. There we go, 38-23. Officials clearly not happy with the Georgian sideline as a few choice words coming from them after the goaltending call. Justin Mitchell kicks to Laron, he pump fakes, working on Lucier now. That's Mar, or sorry, Mitchell. Kicks to Emran, three point shot. Hill collects the board. And he's fouled by Tex Warich. And that's going to be his second or perhaps third foul so far. So good news for the Lions is marquee player for the Grizzly now with foul trouble. That's number two. But I expect the Lions will be taking the ball right at Tech here now. Try to get his possible third here. Anthony Smith. Off a Lucier handoff now. Jab steps, going to pull up for the deep two. He'll deflects the ball back to Lucier up and under. A lot of contact there, no call on Madiba. Mitchell stutter steps. Ooh, and a touchy call there, but good one nonetheless by the referee. Fouls on Jason Marshall. Thirty-eight twenty-three, one forty-eight left here in the first half. Laron, he's going to pull up for three, front iron and out. And Padgett collects a defensive board. He'll look to push. Smith's going to drive. He'll kick to Marshall, open for three. He doesn't care. If Tex Zwarich is in his grill, Jason Marshall is turning the sprinkler system on in here. Defense! 
There's a drive by Justin Mitchell. Nice play by the young man. Unable to get it to go though. Tony Smith moves. Drives and kicks to Brandon Paddy who is stripped on his way up. Amran now tries to push in a nice finger roll attempt. There's Waric there to clean up the garbage. Less than a minute to go here. Look to the Lions to slow down. Set something up offensively. Look for a little two for one maybe here to end the half. 42 on the game clock, 10 on the shot. Padre drives and he's fouled. Be one more for the bonus. Padgett makes on the first. Padgett a 67% free throw shooter on the season. Much improved throughout the, the season. As he hits two there. Crosses over. There's Tex Warich. Inside, up over Tony Smith. Hill deflects the ball and it was last touch by Madiba, and it'll be Lions' possession. And a timeout here, called by the Lampton College Lions, 43-25, 18-point lead, 22 seconds left in the first half. 22 seconds left in the first half of the second ever hosted OCAA playoff basketball game in Lambton College Lions history. And what a first half it's been. Lions lead 43-25. And who would have thought Brandon Padgett injured just out there just for a body. I don't believe he's got any points, but his team's playing well around him. Padgett drives up, gets the kind roll there. And that'll close out the first half on the long shot by Justin Mitchell. And the Lions have opened it up. 45-25, 20 point lead for your eighth ranked nationally basketball team. Join us for the second half of this game. Welcome back for the second half of this OCAA qualifying game for the OCAA championship tournament next weekend in Etobicoke, Ontario as the Lambton College Lions lead 45-25 here at Lambton College Gymnasium, and the Lambton College defense continues to suffocate opposing offenses as they come into the den. On average, going into the game this year, hold, holding opponents, opposing teams to 32.5% shooting from the field, and the Georgian Grizzlies continue with a dismal 23.3 shooting in the first half of this game, although they come out with an easy bucket there. Dave. What's the important part, obviously, in the second half of the game for this Lions to close out this victory? Well, I think it's just keep your composure, do what you did right in the in the first half, and don't take any big stupid uh, fouls, I guess. No ticky-tack ones. Just keep out of foul trouble and just keep playing as a team. Justin Mitchell here. Madiba kicks to Mitchell. He's going to drive. Euro steps inside. Can't get it to go. And here's Tony Smith. Ball worked around to Mike Lucier. Sean Hill, slow first half for that young man. Tony Smith with an easy layup inside and a great pass by Sean Hill. Great pass there. Mago going to kick to LaRon. Corner there, Justin Mitchell. Jabs inside, and that foul will be on Brandon Padgett. Smart foul there by Brandon. Big congratulations, of course. We want to mention Brandon Padgett and congratulate him on his 2015-16 OCAA scoring championship, averaging 24.1 points per game this season. We've said it in many times before on the broadcast here, Dave. The level of talent that Brandon Padgett possesses is beyond this this world and sometimes it's unfathomable the things he can do with a basketball so great to see that he's 
enjoying some accolades, not only uh, recognition from our program here, but also recognition from uh, across Ontario and Canada as well. Yeah, I agree. Brandon's uh, put in the time in the gym, and he was always able to get to the basket, and a uh, great finisher, but now he's got a bit of an outside jump shot. You see he hit a couple threes, so I just saw Brandon one day in the gym, and he was watching me shoot, and I said, Brandon, just don't do what I'm doing, and all of a sudden now he's shooting well. Brandon, of course. His heart lives up to uh, his playing potential as well. I mean, one of the n nicest guys on the team, a, a true leader here for this Lions squad, and he'll look to be a, a guy that'll step in and fill that leadership role along with Jason Marshall next season with the absence of Mike Lucier. Sean Hill will look to push on the break, puts his head down, lays up. That's a goaltending violation there. Tech Zwarz called for that. Nice move there by Sean Hill. Forty-nine thirty-one, eight twenty-four left here in the third quarter. Mego's going to move up. He's going to drive kicks outside. Justin Mitchell crosses over. Nice move there on Tony Smith. Marshall gets stripped from behind, and that's Lions ball. Jason Marshall, heck of a first half. Twenty points, four rebounds. Able to get out on the break almost at will. Marshall noticed that both Mike Luce and Brandon Padgett slowed down a little bit in terms of their point totals in the first half and said, don't worry, boys, I got this one. I'll take care of some of the slack. Marshall steals, kicks to Padgett, who recollects, falls all over the place. Looks like a pinball game down there. Tex Warich lobbed for, but he misses, Madiba misses, and it's some sloppy basketball here. On both sides of the ball there. And nobody could seem to get two hands on the orange. Sean Hill slows things down here for the home Lions. Drives and kicks. It'll stay Lions possession. Tony Smith, jab step. Kicks, Mike Luce, pump fakes, rises up, and Tex Warrick says no. And we've seen why this Georgian team is third in the OCAA in terms of blocks per game, as they really get after you defensively in the paint. They got two good rim protectors in Zwaric and Jones. Zwaric gets another hand on it. And a foul call there, and that one looks to be it'll, like it'll go towards Mike Lucier. Only his first, so a big thing I'm sure the coaching staff always concerned of. Next year with some of the big recruits coming in, going to have a lot, a lot of size, so unfortunately not this year to help out Mike Lucier. One of those recruits in attendance here this afternoon, Jimmy Hendrickson watching his future team take on the Georgian Grizzlies. Hill battles down there. And that might be a push going against Sean Hill. And that's Sean Hill's third personal, which means we'll have a hard hat and lunch pail sighting here. Frank Benet checks into the ball game. Got his tool belt and his tuna sandwich ready to get in here. Referees to conference with the coach. Shot clock will be back down to 14. As Justin Mitchell will inbound for the Grizzlies. Marceline checked in there as well. He pump fakes. Tries to go up over top of Mike Lucier. Lucier. That'll be short iron and out. Marceline, that's a lot of contact there. No call. Tex Warish up over top with Brandon Padgett. And just like that, we're down to a 16-point ball game. 
second half, of course, so important in every basketball game, Dave, but even more so for the Lions as they've seemed to let up a little bit in the second half in terms of uh, points allowed. And happens when uh, you do play your starting five or five guys. You have such a small rotation with only seven or eight seeing regular playing time for the Lions throughout the season. Tend to wear down when you've played 40 or 50 minutes of basketball. Third foul on Mitchell there. Something to watch. Number six. Padgett's going to shoot the three. Benet battles, but unable to go. Nice move there by Justin Mitchell. As he's shown some explosiveness throughout the game. Marshall. Oh, Tony Smith was wide open. He didn't see that, though. Lucia with the nice pullback. Marshall being bodied hard by Laron. And Marceline now gets a piece of Brandon Padgett as the Georgian Grizzlies look to get physical. <laughs> Mauling some Lions at the moment. And there's a technical foul against the Georgian coach as he's been warned a few times this afternoon. Coach James Grant deciding who's going to shoot the free throws. Looks like it'll be Mike Lucier. Lucier, fifth year senior captain of this Lions squad. Such a detrimental part in the turnaround of this Lampton Lions program. Lucier came into tonight with 1,482 career points. Good for seventh all time in the OCAA. And an opportunity to only add to that total as the Lions look to make a deep run in the OCAA tournament. Fifty-thirty-three, Lions lead six fourteen. Smith works Mitchell. Lions with five on the outside as Marshall cuts in and out. Badgett's gonna spin. Kicks to Frankie Benet. Pull up, elbow, jump shot, back iron. Tony Smith in there. Gosh, is Tony Smith a good rebounder for a guard? Another turnover by Frank Benet. Justin Mitchell with the up and under. Great play. Tony Smith open on the right wing. Padgett wanted to get it to him, but couldn't find a lane. And a foul there on Marceline. Much. <laughs> to the dismay of the Georgian coach as he may, may have to make a trip back to the bus early if he keeps up that attitude. Will Eric Kasten into the ball game for the Lions. Padgett goes behind the back but loses the ball, strips it again though. 50-35, down to a 15-point lead for the Lions. Justin Mitchell shoots the deep three. And the Georgian Grizzlies feel some life as the bench ignites after that big three-point shot. 50-38, 5 10 to go in the third quarter. Marshall's going to shoot the deep three. That's off. That's a heat check shot. Tech's going to kick to the corner. Three in the key call there on the Grizzlies. And Sean Hill back in the ball game. Frank Benet. But have some minutes there this afternoon. Unfortunately, just get a little nervous and had a couple of turnovers already. But he's in there for the rebound. So if he can just keep his composure. Overall, good minutes, as you said there by Frank Benet. Paget looks to find Luce, who looks to be in a favorable matchup. Stripped as this Georgian Grizzlies team is just feisty on the defensive end. Jump ball called. Looks like it'll be Lions possession right now. Pretty crucial this early in the game. This possession here is the Lions look like they're a little frazzled on offense. 
just become stagnant here. Double teamed, and that's a shot clock violation, but the Grizzlies collecting good foul there by Brandon Padgett on the break. Realized that the Grizzlies had numbers going the other way, takes the foul on the ball and allows his teammates to catch a breath and get back in the play. Timeout Lions, 50-38, 4.17 to go here in the third quarter. Don't miss a second of this OCAA qualifying matchup. Back for the third quarter, Lions lead 50-38. 4.17 left here in the third quarter. Lions offense has been stymied to only five points in the first almost six minutes of this quarter as opposed to 13 put up by the Georgian Grizzlies. Dave, what's the imperative factor to the Lions stopping this run and hopefully extending the lead here back to the 20? Well, they just need to get a couple guys rolling in their offense again and it's just confidence hitting one or two shots, right? So they just have to keep the ball and now make as many turnovers as they had in this third quarter. Lucier up top. Gonna find Tony Smith. Brandon Padgett's bowled over. Tony Smith unable to get it to go. Mike Lucier follows up. Great play by the young man there as he'll go to the line shooting too. Some contact there on a screen or something there, but Brandon Padgett looks like he's gonna shake it off. Mike Lucier with a great veteran play there following up, realizing that no one had him boxed out. Went right to the basket. Went up, absorbed contact, realized he wasn't going to make the layup opportunity, but going to take advantage of the opportunities from the stripe here. A cool two points, and hopefully that calms down the Lions offense and defense. Lions playing a zone now. Marceline stripped. Smith with the spin move and crossover, but gets himself into trouble as Marsline goes high off the glass, but there's three Grizzlies in the front court. And Mike Luce did his best to save the ball. Tex Large goes up, and that's a four-point swing. And just like that, that's He just can't try to dribble through three guys. There was, I think Tony Smith's uh, got some veteran in him. He can probably pull himself back out of it. Sean Hill for three, and look at the answer as the Lions fans get on their feet and the lead's back to 13. Great shot there by Sean Hill, said we're okay team. Marshall closes out space on Zwaric. Mitchell in the corner is gonna take that shot and he answers with a three of his own. Hill cuts baseline. Great look by Brandon Padgett there. Marshall wide open for three, knocks it down. Jason Marshall, anything you can do, he can do better. Marceline's going to drive. Pro hops, kicks it into the corner. Mitchell, front iron and out. And Grizzlies ball. Oh, correction there. Official overrules. And it's going to be Lions basketball. Coach James Grant going to settle down Tony Smith. Give him a little bit of a breather as Wild Bill Caston checks into the game. Marshall sets up the half-court offense. Luce is going to work on Madiba. Kicks the hill wide open. Battle for the rebound underneath. Good save there by Justin Mitchell and the Grizzlies. 58-45. LaRon kicks in the corner, back iron and out. Lions have numbers on the break, three on two. Padgett gets into the teeth and lays it up. And Brandon Padgett quietly having himself. Still a really good ball game, Dave. Suarez. Lucier, what a battle down low. Great play to come up with the defensive rebound. A nice calm movement up the floor there by Marshall. Padgett's gonna work. Finds cutting Sean Hill. What a beautiful play that is. 
and the Lions are opening this ball game back up. And what could have been a five point game at the end of the third quarter, the Lions responded. What it comes down to, Dave, is veteran leadership and both you and I have had the pleasure of watching this program grow and seeing a few 20 point leads evaporate in years past, but with the leadership on the floor, guys being part of some of those teams and, and this program, as well as veteran leaders like Tony Smith and Brandon Paget, this team's really been able to battle some of that adversity and not let games like this slip away and get out of hand. Conference here. Referees convening just outside the three-point line. Lampton crowd on their feet, and what an atmosphere here in the den. The whiteout in effect here this evening. This, if you don't think Sarnia is a basketball community, I ask you to come out to a Lampton College Lions game, try to find a spot to watch it first, and then have a look at this crowd. It is fantastic. Must have been a technical there, was it? On Technical foul assessed to the Lions. Justin Mitchell shooting for the Grizzlies. Mitchell good on both. Must have been double technicals there. Lucia to shoot. Knocks it down. Sean Hill, now to inbound for the Lions. 101 left here in the third quarter, 63-47. Mike Lucia. Right side. Paget's going to come back to the ball. Corner kick. Tony Smith drives up. And that'll be Lions ball. 9 on the shot clock, 44 on the game clock. You say spins to the middle, fades away. Signature move and signature finish as that's nothing but nylon. Marceline goes up, finger rolls. Not sure how the guy can strip the ball and get the ball back, but. Interesting call. Grizzlies possession under the basket. Mediba. There's Mitchell, comes off the screen, shoots the deep three. Looks like that three point opportunity. Three point opportunity will count. Offsetting fouls, it looks like. That's the third on Padgett, but that's also the fourth on Zawarich. So a big foul on Zawarich. Perhaps a trade-off you would take if you're the Lions. As big Wesley Jones will check back into the ball game. Lions lead 65-50, 18 seconds left, so shot clock will be turned off when we resume play. Of course, winner of this ball game will take on Lacite, or Collage Lacite in the uh, first round of the OCAA Championship Tournament next weekend in Humber College. So no rest for the wicked as these two teams battle it out here and then have to take on the number two ranked team in Ontario next Friday afternoon 
to have an opportunity to continue their quest for a championship. And for how much the offense didn't click for the Lions in the fourth quarter, they have an opportunity to be 15 or better here. 10 to go, Padgett's gonna move right, finds Hill for three, in and out, Lucier offensive board, still has two seconds, gets it up, Mike Lucier drops it in, and that'll be a 17 point lead going into the fourth quarter for your Lions, 67-50. Welcome back to Lambton College in Sarnia, Ontario and Lambton College Gymnasium, 67.50. Ten minutes of play left for one of these teams in their season. Marceline backs up, takes the jump shot, he misses. Marshall will collect the board. Brandon Padgett pushes on the break, sees he's got room to the middle. Pump fakes, gets the ball up over four Georgian defenders, can't get it to go. Wesley Jones gonna have some time in the ball game with their big score tech out with four fouls. They're on missed opportunity, but Madiba collects the offensive rebound and puts one up here. Sean Hill on the break, can't corral the ball. Brandon Padgett keeps it in bounds, and that's Lions ball. Great play by Brandon Padgett. A tale of two teams in the third quarter there, Dave. First six minutes. Lions put up five points. The last four minutes, they put up 13. Yeah, exactly, and that's what a veteran team has to do. They have to realize it's not always going to be easy. And sometimes you go downhill and you got to pick it up. Hot ball foul there goes against Connor Laurent. 15 point game, Lucier working on Madiba. Marshall crosses over, kicks the hill in the corner. Short ironed out. Sixty-seven fifty-two. Mitchell, and that's a three point shot. And we're back to 12 here. Georgian team is not given up and they're causing the Lions some trouble here. Marceline gets a hand on the ball. Padgett with the floater in the lane. Can't get it to go. Mitchell's gonna push up the floor. Gets back to his spot in the corner. High and out. Smith can't corral the board. Laron gets lucky as he lost the ball on the way up. Mike Luce over jumped. 10 point lead now. And the fourth quarter for the Lions this year really has been their nemesis, giving up over 21 points a game and something that they'll need to work on in terms of closing out ball games, especially in the stretch run. Marshall pulls up for the deep three and the Lampton offense has gotten stagnant here to start the fourth. Madiba at the elbow kicks Mitchell's hot spot over there on the right side and all of a sudden it's seven points to Mr. Walls. Well they're gonna have to start covering Mitchell. He just scored eight points. Tony Smith's gonna cross over. Calls for a Lucier screen. Doesn't use it. Lions ball here. And the, keep in mind the Georgian Grizzlies have been able to cut this lead to seven points without their best player, Tex Zwaric, in the game, who just checks back in at the moment. Lucier for three, knocks it down. Mike Lucier, the captain, looking to settle his guys down. Foul call there. Looked like some good defense there by the Lions and fouls on Sean Hill. That'll be his fourth. 
So both teams dealing with foul troubles to some marquee players. Tech Zwarich, number 11 for the Grizzlies. Four, Sean Hill, number five for the Lions, four. Connor LaRonde at the line. Only a 63% shooter, LaRonde is. Some discussion between the referee and Tex Warch. LaRon, quick release. Point game. Tony Smith over the timeline. Drives in. Kicks to Lucier. Finds Paget open for three. That's short. Sean Hill with the offensive board, but dribbles it out of bounds. I have no idea why Brandon's taking some shots from back there, so he's just going to compose himself and let the three-point shooters that are a bit more proven, although we have mentioned that Brandon has come a long way. That's not the guy we want taking the three-point shot from that deep. Marceline working Smith on the left side of the court. Crosses over. Kicks deep corner. There's Mitchell. Pulls up from the top of the key. That's deflected out. That'll be Lions ball. And a huge possession here for the Lions as they have an opportunity to extend the lead back to 10 points. Paget works the right side of the floor. Crosses over, he's got a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Stripped and fouled. Brandon Paget rewarded for putting his head down and going hard to the basket. Opportunity to shoot from the line for Paget. In and out. Knocks down the second. Nine point lead. Marceline. Here's Zwarich one-on-one -on -one with Mike Lucier. Battle of the boards down low. Both players had double-doubles coming into the second half. Yeah, Justin Mitchell just put the Georgian team on his back the last quarter and a half, so great effort so far by him. Here's Paget now. Under six to go, 71-62 Lions. Paget crosses over, works great play there, Brandon Paget. Doing what he does best, and that's getting to the glass for easy layups. Laron, power moves in. That's a traveling call. And the Lions get lucky there as Laron was able to cut in and get himself into a good position for an easy elbow jump shot. Luckily, he took too many along the way. 73-62, and Tech Zwarich, and that's gonna be his final foul. He is out of the game as he bowls over Jason Marshall, and what a way to draw the fifth foul against that young man. 90 feet from the basket in your offensive end, and unfortunately, that'll be the end of that young man's game so far. Much to the pleasure of the Lambton College crowd as they give him a sign off on his way to the bench. There'll be a timeout call here as the Lions will lead 73 62, 533 left here in the final stanza. Welcome back for the final five minutes and 33 seconds of heart-pounding Lambton College Lions basketball, Dave. It has been a fantastic game up and down the floor. Both teams 
going on runs back and forth and this game has lived up to its billing we knew coming in of course Lampton fourth seed in the west and the Grizzlies the fifth seed in the east fairly even matchup between these two and we've seen that reflect in the score so far today as Brandon Padgett works the ball to the right side and a little bit of a maybe not indicative of their record George and they injuries and player out in the first half of the season went I believe two and seven to start so they were the fifth seed but probably probably the second best team in the east from how they played the uh, second half of the season Lucier crosses over oh Wesley Johnson pick up your jock young man two on one the other way Jason Marshall with the foul on Connor Laron. Great play there by Marshall. Send the young man to the line. 63% free throw shooter. And Laron was not on his game two for eight in the first half, but shooting much better and looking much more confident in the second half. About five minutes left to go here in the Dame Dave. It's always time for our annual segment, Dave Magic Number, sponsored by Lampton College Lions Den Pub. 88, a little Eric Lindros, 88. 88 is the magic number for the Lions to get to for a victory tonight. If they do, tomorrow only, free popcorn chicken in the Lampton College Pub. Nice little clean up there by Lucier. Marceline throws it up. Great rebound there by Wesley Jones. And it's a nine point ball game. Crosses over. Smith, no look dish to Padgett. Up over Jones. He's hacked. Padgett will get the offensive board. Oh, he was hacked bad there. No call again by the referee under the basket. Justin Mitchell jab steps. Takes the three. Wow, that was an aggressive shot attempt. Lions ball the other way. Dave, the Lions have only been held under 81 points per game this season twice. Both were losses to the number one ranked Sheridan Bruins. So 81 points is the threshold that the Lions will look to get to here. Usually means good things for this squad when they can get to that. Six points away, four minutes left on the clock. Lucie pump fakes, kicks Tony Smith. Spin moves, cuts in Laron steals. Up over top, can't get it to go over Lucier. Laurent tries to sell a call there. Bodies in on Tony Smith. Nice move by the young man. And all of a sudden it's a seven point lead. 3.30 left. As this Georgian Grizzlies team, down their best player, Tech Zwarich, fouled out five personals. And they haven't given up as Wesley Jones blocks Mike Lucier from behind. Big effort off the bench from Jones. Twelve on the shot clock. Mediba works Hill. Laron drives in and kicks to Marceline. That's a three-point shot that goes down. And James Grant and the Lions coaching staff is not happy. 75-71, 2.55 left here in the fourth quarter. remaining here in the fourth quarter. Lions with a four point lead, the smallest it's been since the first quarter of the ball game. Less than three to go here. And this is crunch time for these young Lions. Marshall finds Hill, Lucier, doubled finds Padgett on the cut that's a foul there Justin Mitchell may not like the call but it's the right one 
Brandon Padgett. A lot of contact on the body as he went to the basket. Cut check time for Brandon as he shoots two here with a four point lead with two and a half minutes remaining. Back iron and out. Short, but Lucia collects the offensive board. Great play. Lions will have an opportunity to wind down a little more clock as Sean Hill drives finger roll with the left hand. Showtime, Sean Hill. Big rebound there by Lucier to set it up with Hill. Veteran to veteran. Great play by Sean Hill to hedge the screen there. Padgett comes out and does the same. And that'll be Brandon Padgett's fourth. So he's going to have to play with a little tentativeness in his ball game. As Tony Smith will check back in for Will Caston. Seventy-seven, seventy-one, six-point lead for the Lions. Two thirteen left. Can cut the tension in the building with a knife right now. Justin Mitchell works around the screen, takes a three. That's short iron and out. Jason Marshall finds Brandon Padgett, streaks down the middle, wide open. That's a goal, ten. How did they miss that? How did they miss that? For a ref that's blown a whistle so often this game with... Up over Mike Lucier, deflects the ball, gets it out to Padgett. Now Smith on the fast break. Drives up and in, can't get it to go. Showtime, Sean Hill one more time with the deflection and extends the Lions' lead. Marceline drives in and a foul on the body against Sean Hill. And one. That's, a, that's a tough call to go against Sean Hill. I believe that's his fifth. Unless his feet weren't set there, we're not sure. Tough to call a body contact foul like that after a blatant miss down the other end on a goaltending call where Brandon Padgett laid the ball up off, off the glass. The ball was clearly hit after it hit the glass and no call. Marceline, good on both. Here comes the press. 79-73. Lions will look to use as much clock as possible here. Got a good opportunity late in the count. Padgett drives, and Wesley Johnson with the block. Ten on the shot clock now. Marshall finds Hill for three. Oh, Mike Lucier was tapped underneath. No call there. Justin Mitchell's going to drive and push. Can't get it to go. Great play by Jason Marshall. What a rebound. Less than a minute to go. 20 on the shot clock. Let's take as much time off as possible here, boys, I think. Padgett's going to hold up top. They're going to double. Padgett on the cut to the lane. Up and in, Brandon Padgett. 81-73. And that's the threshold we were talking about. 81 points. Marceline answers with a three. And this one's not over yet, folks. And Sean Hill... We'll now have an opportunity to extend the lead at the line in a bonus situation. Hill 
Hill knocks the one down. And 83-76, 24 seconds left on the game clock. Lions lead by seven points. Do not miss the final 24. Final 24 seconds left here in this OCAA tournament qualifying game. Lampton College Lions, number eight in the country, lead 83 over the visiting Georgian Grizzlies, 76. And Dave, I don't know about you, but might have a few gray hairs after this one. Yeah, not a game that's uh, good for the coaches' uh, stomachs. Ball deflected. Here's a lot of time, George, and I'm, I think that's in the favor of the Lions. Shoot the three back iron and out. Sean Hill collects the rebound. He's stripped, though. Mike Luce has it. And uh, must applaud George, and I mean... They look like they're out of it early, and what a player they have in Tech. Uh, so Warwick, and then the big turnaround there by Mitchell taking the team on his back. So although Georgian's going out, they can go out proud because they definitely fought right to the end. A team that uh, was able to battle through a ton of adversity here, losing their head coach as well as their best player here during the game. So. A lot of applause and recognition from us here for this Georgian team. Heck of a squad they have. And fortunately for the Lions, they'll be advancing to the OCAA tournament. 8.8 .8 seconds left. Timeout. Georgian Grizzlies, 84-76. Lions, or sorry, Grizzlies to inbound here. Connor LaRonde, eight seconds left. Eight point ball game. Marshline comes to get it. Uses a screen. He's got to take a shot quickly here. He does. Pulls up for three. Sean Hill collects. Wesley Jones will make an attempt, but the Lions will go home with a victory. 84 76. And congratulations. To Coach James Grant, Senior Captain Mike Lucier, Jason Marshall, Brandon Paget, and the rest of the Lampton College Lions on a back-to-back -back trip to the OCAA Championships. Join us after the break for our Player of the Game interview. As always, behalf of myself and my broadcast partner Dave Walls, thank you for listening to us this season. It's been our pleasure. Have a great night.